as my hands approached it, I couldn't touch it, which was uh, fantastic. You take two light poles of a magnet and you can kind of feel that balance. It was exactly, exactly like that, but it was my hands. They weren't magnetic. And he says, you're feeling an artificially produced gravitational field. But there was, not, there was not a seam, there was not a rivet, there was not a fastener. And that's exactly how the craft operates. It focuses the, the single emitter and creates a gravity distortion, essentially a divot in space-time, and the craft rolls forward. I know that it sounds preposterous on its face, this idea of some slightly off-kilter guy in glasses that he could be hired to do classified programs. We observe gravity, we see what it does, but we really don't know what it, what it is. We can throw some equations together and say, well, it works like this, but we really don't know what's behind it. But if you can make a machine that on demand makes gravity, you know, all the stuff we write science fiction about stops becoming science fiction that afternoon. Then force fields become a reality. You can shift time. I mean, everything becomes possible.